I mean, we were just talking about like back in the day with the songmeetings.com, mm. like that, that yeah. spot. There was one kid that would just write out like these huge elaborate like meetings for songs. It, it all made perfect sense. Right. It wasn't right. I, I picked up this bass and I started playing this bass line. And our buddy Asa, Asa Takone was back there hanging out and he heard the bass line. He had heard something in that, so he had me track this bass, bass line. And as I'm doing it, he's like, he's like, hey, you got another part in there? You got like a bridge for me? I was like, yeah, sure, like, I got this line. Before we knew it, we didn't even realize that we were doing anything. And after about 45 minutes or an hour, we just kind of realized, hey, I think we have a song here, which is interesting that it ended up being our single. It's just the way songs should happen, in my opinion. Lay down some like, J just scratch vocals, just a, a rough vocal, which is actually, I, I'm pretty sure that's what's on the performance too. The first two verses are just from that session. Can't keep my hands to myself. Think I'll dust them off, put them back up on the shelf in case my little baby girl is in need. Am I coming out of left field? That's such a, that's such a crafty opening. So you don't know which way the song's gonna take you at that point. Um, you don't know what that implies. Uh, I have a little daughter named Frances. She's five years old now. And I guess over the course of this album, she's obviously been growing growing up. She was two and a half, three years old when, when we started working on this record. So her growing up has been a huge part of this record. And I think this song especially, some of that stuff just kind of seeped into the lyrics as I was, I was writing. I'm a rebel just for kicks now. And that was the first lyric that, that was wrote for the song. Finding the first line, and what, once you got that, then you just kind of go with it. A rebel just for kicks is the guy who's gonna go out and tell you the truth about politics and tell you the truth about religion, and he'll do it in a funny way that's real and serious, but he's also not gonna vote because he doesn't trust government. <laughs> I've been feeling it since 1966. So 1966, I, I wrote this lyric Mainly because it was the first year, like the acid test year. The riots that went down in Chicago it was the start of the Black Panther Party. Uh, the music then that inspired that movement and that generation was caused from you know, social and political climates that are very similar to what's going on now. Might be over now, but I feel it still. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. Let me kick it like it's 1986. Kind of a straight up reference to Fight for Your Right to Party, Beastie Boys, which came out on License Tale in 1986. We were just all kind of at that right age to just want to fight for your right to party. You know, I was raised kind of like a good kid, but then I kind of learned how to break the rules a little bit by the Beastie Boys, thanks to the Beastie Boys. Might be over now, but I feel it still. Got another mouth to feed. Leave it with the babysitter, mama call the grave digger. Gone with the falling leaves. Am I coming out of left field? Am I going to leave my daughter, it, it, as she's growing up, am I going to be leaving her with the babysitter? And then one day I'm just going to pass away and like, how much time do I get to spend with her? I'm a rebel just for kicks. I've been feeling it since 1966. Might have had your fill, but I feel it still. I'm a rebel just for kicks. Let me kick it like it's 1986. Might be over now, but I feel it still. With, with our lyric changes in, in the chorus, it, it is very subtle stuff, and it's something that we tend to do quite a bit. You know, I, I think it's it's important, especially being being a rock band in a way, like to have this fluid movement that that isn't held up by like you're not hitting that wall of here's the block, here here comes the chorus block. We can fight a war for peace. Give in to that easy living. Goodbye to my hopes and dreams. It's a George Carlin quote. Fighting a war for peace is like fucking for virginity. It's just banging your head into a wall over and over and over. You're not gonna win. Start flipping for my enemies. Or we could wait until the walls come down. It's time to give a little to the kids in the middle, but oh, until it falls, won't bother me. It's, it's another one of those lyrics that just kind of seeps in with all the talk right now of building the wall at our borders and, and the Berlin Wall. wall. It, was, it was so much just like the image that you had in your head growing up that these people are separated by a wall.
and why do we need that? Is it coming? Is it coming? Is it coming back? It was the time with 1966. Like, is, is that movement happening again? To me, it's revolution. It's fighting. The fight's always worth fighting for. The fight's always worth fighting for, you know? Um, in good times or bad times, we're always trying to be better as a people. I'm a rebel just for kicks. Yeah, your love is an abyss from my heart to eclipse now. Might be over now, but I feel it still. I'm a rebel just for kicks. I've been feeling it since 1966. Might be over now, but I feel it still. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks. Let me kick it like it's 1986. Might be over now, but I feel it still. Might have had your fill, but I feel it still. The whole song you're talking about, you know, these, these sort of snapshots of time in human history, like specifically American history and sort of the struggles that we've gone through and uh, now suddenly we're trying to make America great and that's not how you do it. So for me, like, yeah, it speaks to a, a new age of a need to be aware and to rile things up and to step out of line sometimes.